Hello students, today we will learn how to start Microsoft PowerPoint. So PowerPoint is a, power, uh, is a multimedia presentation application in which you can add different types of media like text, images, video and audio. So to start PowerPoint, you have to click on the start button on the taskbar and you can see the PowerPoint application. In a red colored circle, there's a white colored P. That is the icon for PowerPoint. So it will take a little while to open Microsoft PowerPoint. This is the window for Microsoft PowerPoint. Here you can either press the new button or the blank presentation to start a new blank presentation. When you press the new blank presentation, it opens in the first slide here that is called the title slide. In this title slide, there are two text boxes, one to add the title and the another to add the subtitle. Now you can click on the title and supposingly I will write the title as communities in capital letters. Now this is my title and in the subtitle you can write the name of the person who is creating this presentation. So I can write by Shweta and you can write your class supposingly to A. Now if I click on the first title text box, if I want I can resize my text box. You can see these small dots or circles um, on the edges of this text box. When you click on that you will see double arrow shows. So you can drag it inwards to make the width smaller. You can drag this down to make the width the height smaller and if from the corner you click you'll see a double sided arrow which is pointing slight sideways and you can increase the width and the height simultaneously and if you go inside you can decrease the height and the width so this way from these circles you can increase or decrease the size of the text box. So these are the recycling, resizing handles. Now if you want to move this text box, so when you bring your mouse over the edge of this text box, you can see the mouse pointer has changed into a four-sided arrow. Can you see children? This is the four-sided arrow but when I bring it inside the text box, the cursor is like an arrow and when I bring it on the text box edge, anywhere on the edge, it becomes four-sided arrow. When you see the four-sided arrow, at that point you click and move the text box wherever you want to move it. Right? Same you can do for this other text box. You can drag it and move it and you can resize it. Okay. Now, if supposingly I want to change the size of this text. So I will select the text with my mouse. I will drag my mouse over the text and then in the home menu at the top you will see this is the size option for font size. Change the size of your text. Click on that arrow and it is 24 size right now. I can scroll down this arrow this font size and I can choose a font size I want. And same way, if I want to change the font style of this writing, again, I select the text. And this is the font option to pick a new font for your text. Click on this arrow and you will see multiple different fonts. As you move your mouse over the font, the font in your presentation will show. When you scroll down from this arrow, you can see multiple font types. These all font types are written alphabetically. So you can keep scrolling down to look for the best font you want. Best font style you like, whichever font style you like, supposing that this one. If it doesn't, you don't like this, you can click here, this one, or whichever you like. So you can select the font style. And if you want to change the font color, so you can change the font color from here. You can make it 
whatever font color you want if i say red so it becomes red okay the next thing you will learn children is to change the fill color for this text box now if i move my mouse outside the text box you will see in the menu bar there is home menu insert draw etc till help but as soon as i click my mouse inside communities where i have written communities in this text box you will see at the top a new menu is showing that is the format shape format this is the shape so a shape format menu has come up when i click on the shape format menu in this in the shape styles you will see the shape fill option this is used to fill the selected shape with a solid color gradient picture or texture so when i click on this arrow i can select any color i want for my uh, text box right so i choose a color then if i click on the next text box and now for the same i can again see the shape format menu and i click on shape fill here you will have different gradients you can choose no gradient that is solid color or different shades of gradients light variants you can see the gradient over here again if i go back to communities where i have written in that text box and i want to change it to texture here multiple textures are there so you can decide whichever texture you want the texture will appear in the text box now if supposingly you decide to put a dark texture so you can see the uh, text that is communities was written in black color and it is not showing so well so the option is you can select the text and then you have to change its font color so to change the font color you will have to go into the home menu and you will see the font color option here and to see a, dark, a lighter color will show nicely on the dark colored background so either white or yellow will look bright so i choose a white color and the text color becomes white and the fill color is textured and here we have gradient fill color so i hope you have enjoyed the first slide in powerpoint and we'll continue later see you